Yeah, I mean, I think, of course, um, in terms of uh, visas, um, this is a government issue. Um, we have been um, very much encouraging our government to consider uh, granting uh, 72 hours visa-free for transit passengers coming from India um, through Kazakhstan to the rest of our network. It's um, a, a debate, a process that's underway, and we are very hopeful uh, that we will achieve this um, in the short term. And if we are able to do so, that will be a tremendous boost uh, for, uh, for ourselves to be able to carry more Indian passengers, of course, via Kazakhstan, uh, primarily to our network, to Russia, um, to Central Asia, uh, to the Caucasus, which is very much, if you like, the core uh, part of the Aristana network. So we hope that'll, that'll come soon, um, and we continue very hard to push and lobby for it. As far as the second part of your question is concerned, yeah, we're aware, of course, obviously, that there is an enormous demand between India and Europe. But, you know, there are a lot of airlines um, who, are flying, uh, who are flying to Europe from India. Uh, there are not only, obviously, the Indian carriers and the European carriers, but also, of course, the Gulf carriers, um, who carry a huge amount of business uh, via, uh, you know, midpoints in the Gulf. Now, Aristana, we do fly to Europe. We have flights to London, to Amsterdam, to Paris and to Frankfurt. But, you know, logically and geographically, um, to fly north to Kazakhstan um, and then west uh, to Western Europe um, is not necessarily uh, the most logical routing. So we think that, you know, strategically it's better for us to concentrate uh, on carrying the Indian market to Russia, Central Asia and the Caucasus, which is where our strength is, uh, rather than necessarily um, getting too, um, if you like, deeply involved in the European market, which is not geographically um, a core strength of ours from India um, and in which, as I mentioned, there are already so many airlines operating. Yes. 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 Yeah, no, well, we, of course, uh, absolutely. I mean, you know, if, if, if the market wants it, we'll provide it. Uh, so certainly, um, you know, if, we're, if, we're, if, if, the, if the market uh, would like to start structuring uh, tourist packages to Europe via Kazakhstan, we would be delighted to oblige, and we will do. Well, we have, a, we have uh, Aristan holidays, um, and that's primarily for stopover packages uh, in Almaty and Astana. We're already selling those. Um, in fact, we sell those for $1, so you can stop over uh, in Almaty or Astana in a four-star hotel for $1. Of course, obviously, we are subsidizing that. And that is to try and attract uh, transit business from India to the rest of our network. So, yes, absolutely, we are indeed selling packages. And, you know, should demand increase for, for example, a combination of Kazakhstan and, Euro and Europe, we will, of course, offer that. If I can come on to your, your final question about onboard service, um, we of course have a core product. We're very proud of that core product. It is an award-winning product, best airline in Central Asia and India uh, for these last uh, six years. Uh, uh, an award which we're proud to share, of course, with Indigo, who are uh, best low-cost airline um, uh, Central Asia and India. So it's great that we share that with such a great airline. Um, our full-service product, obviously. Um, uh, is designed um, by ourselves uh, from uh, from our from our headquarters, but it tries um, to tailor itself for the demands of uh, particular markets, uh, depending on where the aircraft has to be flying. So, of course, obviously, as far as Indian uh, as far as the Indian market is concerned, uh, we uplift Indian food uh, from here, uh, Indian media. We have Indian films on board. Uh, so, we try as far as possible within the constraints of our core product. We try and tailor it uh, to offer uh, a style uh, and a substance of service that is appropriate to and enjoyable to uh, Indian travelers. My last question. As we talk about Air India privatization, yes. you have a good share so Sorry? You have got a good share arrangement with Air yeah. Do you think there will be uh, some change in that? Well, we don't know. I mean, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Um, my understanding is that the, the timetable for the privatization of Air India um, is still under discussion, um, and it hasn't been decided yet. Um, you know, as I mentioned, we're happy to work with Air India, uh, whether it remains under its current owners or whether it's uh, uh, semi-privatized or, or, or fully privatized. 
um, as I mentioned I think several times uh, this morning uh, our own experience um, is that, that combination of public and, and, and private ownership works very effectively in our own particular case um, but you know every case is different so it's not for us uh, to insert ourselves into uh, the debate which really is a debate that has to take place here in India. Thank you. Thanks very much.